morning, folks. Good morning. It's a miserable day in New York City today. And I got a voice. I feel a little bit better. I think I, uh, I passed it on the bed seat. It might have been a cold. Whoops. Whoops, it is. Uh, folks. Oh, this is a nice day to have a nice... I mean, I just look at a cough. <coughs> voice is still a little raspy. But I feel better-ish. It's cold. Got my egg whites and turkey on a whole wheat bagel toasted. I'm, I smoke a latte from Dunkin' Donuts, which I don't normally do. But we got some coffee in the house, so I stop every morning and get coffee. Excuse me. Ah, oh, on a lighter side, I read through the paper this morning, and lo and behold, there was a white cop shooting a black unarmed man. What's that? What's that mean, BT? I hate the way the media writes. I hate the media writing black versus white on everything. I say this not to be a, a, a prick or ever, however, may you, however you may say it. I use it as an example. Everywhere you go, everywhere you read, there's something about it. They just, they, they color code everything. I'll we'll call it. They don't know how to just say man versus man or un man versus unarmed man in any kind of situation. And I really hate the way media is depicting it anymore because it, in order for them to get their journalistic rise and their, whatever you may be, like their, their, their buzz. Like media today cannot just tell a story without it depicting color, race, creed, religion, whatever it may be. And it's aggravating. Ooh. It's aggravating knowing that we're living in a society that just wants it to, to d demean and, and to just tear down a certain base of people, maybe a, a demographic of people, instead of just writing a story as the story is, they just want to chop it down and make it worse than it is. But folks, that's oh, it's just it's such an aggravation to me. Like I hate it. I hate the way the media depicts everything today because it's it's its target goal is to just pin everybody against each other. Like there will never be equality. There will never be peace. Because people don't want peace. And I hate that because I want peace. And I don't care who, what, where, when. We're all the same. We're all the friggin' same. That's it. But yeah. We love you. And thank you, as always, for doing what you do for us. I'm glad to be back. Listen, just share the share the knowledge. That's all. Just share the knowledge. Don't let people make you into an ignorant person. And by ignorant I mean just ignoring the realness <sighs> because the realness is we're all the same on this earth we're all here to help one another we're all here to love each other we just gotta make the world go around properly efficiently and safely and not get hit by trucks that are passing by um, but that's it that's my message today guys let's make the world a better place by just being better people. Thank you guys. See you later. Bye bye. Uptown. Fuck up. Guy, guy, run. Uptown. Fuck up. Guy, guy, run. Saturday night and we in the house. Don't believe me. Just watch. Come Was that a bad word? Mala palabra? Yeah. Funk is a bad word? No, funk isn't a bad word. Up town. Fuck up. Guy, guy, guy. What up, dance for some eagles? Shibby, shibby, shibby. We were just singing that in the bathroom. It's hilarious. She, the first time she was like, Woo! Mala palabra. I'm like, no, funk is a good word. It's so cute. And then she knows when, like, you know, the gear is coming and what? You guys know, you guys know the song. We're getting ready. It's my cama. This is tu cama. It's your bed. Tu cama. Getting ready to go to my mama's house. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear because tonight, me and Boy Toy are going to watch Unfriended. It's a scary movie. It has to do with the internet, which sounds weird because I'm like, how can you make a scary movie like online? But it looked really good. What? I, Mama, I, Daddy, going to bed. Yeah, only Mommy and Daddy go to bed here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
so like a cheese. <laughs> Ooh, it's chilly. Like it's not bad bad, but it's chilly. It's not chilly. It's not chilly? Yeah, not chilly, Dad. Then it's calor? Are you hot? No, it's not hot. So what do you feel? How do you feel? I cold the hands. Oh, you got cold hands. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a freaking bag lady. Look at me. Bag lady. No rain, Mama. Yeah, by your bed. It's gonna rain soon. Let's go. You gotta hurry, hurry. Hustle, hustle. Hustle, 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 hustle. <laughs> No, 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 se tengo, no se tengo. <laughs> My mom's coloring her hair, so she looks kind, kind of a mess. Tu no me llamaste? Cuando? My mom, who she does, if I'm coming over, if I'm not at the house at 9 o'clock, she's like texting me. Are you coming? What time are you coming? Are you sure you're still coming? I didn't get one text today. Why? You don't love me? You don't love me? Do you not love me? Ma! I will put you on camera right now. She's like, watch out. So you don't love me, Mom? Oh, I'm never going to get an answer, huh? Ma! She's trying to go through my... What is this? My federal taxes. She's trying to open it. That's a federal offense. And she's just standing there waiting for me to open it. Just a quick hello, folks. Just a quick hello. Um, I had to take a run out of the office real quick. Um, she was texting me crying. Not really crying, but complaining because she has no chargers. Here's the thing. Here's a little story. She left her charger at my mom's house in Pennsylvania. And she realized that when she left. So I said, yeah, you know what? Why don't you have my mom send it? <clears throat> I'll send my mom money to recoup the funds. Not a problem. In my mind, that's very easy. To Bessie's, she'd rather just complain. So therefore, I'm wait she's waiting for her charger to magically appear in our home, which it won't. And is this light gonna turn red anytime soon, or am I gonna sit here and wait? Look like a look like a dude. Go, just go. Um, that's where we're standing. We're standing in in the middle of a uh, complex road. Betsy wants something, but Betsy won't do something to get it. <coughs> but, so, I went out and I bought her a new kit. I don't know if you see it. It's a charger kit. I really shouldn't do this. I should wait. Um, because next week I'm going to put in a sale for a, uh, a 10 lot, they call them. Which is 10 iPhone chargers. Uh, that's as many as she went through this year. Um, how many of you have been through BT? BT's only been through two. Um, that's the, the red one I have now, the braided, indestructible wire, and uh, my, what, 10 foot, 10, 15 foot cable that I have, like, as is the beginning. Oh, and I still have my original iPhone from the manufacturer. Oh, weird, BT knows how to take care of his wires. But, uh, I had to go out and get another one. I really didn't want to spend $10 for one, but, you had to do what you gotta do. So I guess I'll make her happy so she can have a new, new cable and I'll just go broke providing her her charging needs. Um, but I'm going to put my hand away because it's cold out here and it's the spring. It's the spring. It's like 20 degrees out in the spring. Kid balance. Okay, ready? No, 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 no. Balance by yourself. Balance by yourself. Balance up. Up, up. Up. Almost, almost. Oh, let me catch you. Good job. <laughs> No, what do you say? You don't say laptop. What do you ask? Give me, how do you ask? My laptop. 
Mama. May I have the laptop? Good girl. Lim, just watch. Okay, it's only on you. Remember, we have to share the spotlight. It's about me, not about you. You're not even pointing it at yourself, you buffoon. Buffoon. I was gonna say the phone. Hey. Is, hey. Are you sure I'm in? I'm not, I'm not even sure I'm in it, but just go. Are you in it? Go, yeah. Go. No, you're not even in it. Stop. No, I am. <laughs> Babe, so did you see your 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 dance your dancing scene? <laughs> no. You didn't see the dance? No. Guys, let me. I didn't tell them yet. Okay. So I did a separate clip of you of you dancing, right? Okay. To the Kendrick Lamar, um, King Kahoon. And I'm going on Dancing with the Stars. How'd you know? They contacted you? Yeah! Ah, April Fools. Oh. <laughs> April 8th Fools. April 8th Fools. Um, so, I knew the song was gonna get flagged, but I thought that, I thought I just couldn't monetize it so I wouldn't get paid from it. But- Yeah, no, that don't work like that. Yeah. So, it wouldn't play anywhere, so I was like, crap, I have to do it all over again. So, I did it all over again, and our processor, our computer sucks. So when I speed a song up, when I Thanks. when I speed them up, it goes. You don't know how fast or how slow it goes. So I thought it was it was fast but slow enough for you to see his moves. I uploaded it. It was so fast. It looked so whack. So I deleted that one and had to do it all over again. I didn't go to sleep until three o'clock in the morning. I'm like falling asleep on the chair. I'm like, oh my god. So you, the song is not the right song then. I couldn't use the whole song. I only used eight seconds of it in the, in the beginning so they knew what the beat was and then I had to play some corny song on it. So you didn't ask me, like, hey, Bobby, by chance, do you know... Hey, hey, what? Hey, BT. Hey, BT. Turn right here. Uh-huh. Um, by chance, do you know where I can get the acapella or the, the instrumental for this so I can use it for the video? Oh, so you want to oh, wake babe, you, you up at 3 o'clock in the morning to ask you that. Oh, okay. I I'll do that next time. Don't you worry. I she's got her point. Freaking guy, so upset. Yeah, you could use the instrumental. Yep. It's only on me now. Oh, sorry, I'm over here. Damn, that sucks. Oh, Pink and Red Summer wants to know: Are you really cutting off your beard? Because you said that yeah. last last night. Not cutting off. And I didn't off. really catch it. So make a left. Uh, at the lightest end. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a good. That's a good question. I don't want to. You're not going to. Why? You don't want me to? No. You want me to trim it? Wait, why is it not cold? Why does it look disgusting? Because I've been playing with it all day. I've been stressing all day. It looks disgusting. I hope you bought your beard brush with it. It didn't. It's at home. But you got a brush in here, I'm sure. It looks so homeless. Ew. So it looks disgusting. Homeless is not nice? No. Stop. So you're um, not going to cut it? I don't know. Wait, this car's... Just don't worry about this car. Uh-huh. Turn left. Um, I thought about it. Yes, I want to trim it. Not cut it, but I want to trim it down to like a... Just no. a little bit shorter. I don't know what I should do. He's not going to end the conversation. You say you want me to keep it? it? Just trim it, yeah. Just a little trim. Yeah, so I have to figure is out. Is that okay, know. pink and red summer? Is that okay with you? Is okay with trim a little bit? Apparently she cares about your appearance more than I do. You guys you guys got something going on? Yeah. <laughs> guys, what are you saying? I look like a thug. We're in a corporate area where people like myself see how we dress nice with a blazer, slacks, and dress shoes. I got Boots over here, bring a Pirates of the Caribbean with a dog hat. And a leather jacket. This is corporate America here. Right. Yeah. Okay, so where are we going to go eat right now? Toot Toot. We're going to Toot Toot. What is, toot, is it Vietnamese? Toot. No, it's it's Thai. Ugh. It's a little car. Toot Toot. Toot Toot. Open up. Open up. Open up. Come on. I, oh, we're going to dash and dine. Dine and dash? Yeah, that. There you go. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's nice. You're so difficult. <laughs> Listen, every time we go to a Thai restaurant, all I like is beef fried rice. So actually, I was like, I want beef fried rice. We don't have beef fried rice. They only have pineapple, rice, basil, have like basil. Uh, all this other crap. I'm like, I don't like pineapple. I don't like cashews. I don't like scallop. Like, the lady's just looking at me, boys who's laughing at me. And it's so embarrassing. I can't take you no fancy places. <laughs> I think you the Domino's. Just order, I just want beef. And then, and then I'm like, fine, I'll take the pineapple. Can you put the pineapple on the side? She's like, yeah. I was like, wait, does it come with, it? so would it be pineapple beef? And she's like, 
the resort. So let's see how it comes. I was always have my beef and the pineapple on the side. I think I'll be so good. It makes it gives a nice summery uh, taste. You can have it though. Look at you. You're winning. What? Winning. Winning. Not Hashtag Charlie. winning, yeah. Charlie, yeah. I'm not Charlie Sheen. You can be. I'm me. For one night. Ooh, what is that masterpiece? That is chicken pad thai. Chicken pad thai. Ooh, I like that. Pad thai. And then mine is beef fried rice with pineapple and sake. Yeah, sir. I want you to take a bite with that with the pineapple. Make sure you get beef in there as well. Yeah. Oh, there's cashews in there. You didn't even have any pineapple with it. Mm. It's amazing with the pineapple. Are you kidding me? Wow, everything's so good. With the pineapple too. I always have to take bites like that. It's not bad. Very good. Good job, you two. Oh, sorry. What's up with your mouth? Cheese, that fork? Oh, yeah. He ordered special. What is it? Mm -hmm. What are those sticks called? Drumsticks. Drums. He ordered drumsticks. Chopsticks. <laughs> Chopsticks. <laughs> I love being part of press because I don't have to wait on that line outside was ridiculous. I like one side. Oh, that is what we're watching. Alexis Bendini. Oh, Alexis Bendini is jealous that we're watching. Why? Confronted. So, huh? Why? Does she like scary movies? That's scary. Oh. Huh? It's not scary. Yeah, it is. The murder oh, mystery. Okay, so before I tell you about the review, I'm gonna give you a little <laughs> sneak peek of what the bit, what the video, what the movie was right now. What movie? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was totally, and it was in a different. How can I say it best? I liked it. It was freaky. The the one white girl, she was like, everyone was fighting. She was like, guys, we're not ghetto. <laughs> um, and that cracked me up because I always say that. I'm like, we're not ghetto. I'm not ghetto. Um, no, but I liked it. It was Go. weird because. Obviously everything's on the computer, so it's kind of like slow, and you're like, this is going to be boring, but I, I was actually entertained. I just wish they showed more of the gore. Like, I would give it a 6-7. 6 or 8 out of 10? It was... 8 uh, out of 10. It was... I don't want to ruin it, but it was created much different than any movie. I like the fact that it was more realistic than POV. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was more realistic than that point of view where it's like... You're, you are the camera, I guess if that makes sense. But it wasn't bad, it was good. It, was, it wasn't as gory. It, it was like a comedy. Yeah, it was a lot of comedy. It was really funny. And just everyone dying. I just wish they showed more of the gore, because you know, I'm a gory type of girl. I like all that gore stuff, but yeah. Six, I, I would give it a six, six and a half. Not bad. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't something I, I don't know if I'd rush out and see it though in the theaters. Yeah. But anyways, now we're heading home. We gotta pick up my Buddha belly. What time is it? No. It's time for you to get a watch. <laughs> I didn't even say that. We're still connected. It's time for you to get a watch. Get a watch. Beep. I gotta pee. That's not part of the song. That's an ad lib. Yeah, I forgot to mention. It's, what is it? Flurries? Is that what you call it? No, it's, it's a drizzle. It's a drizzle, but there's snow. 
Where? Flurry rain drizzle. No snow. It's a flurry rain drizzle, guys. Not even a little, a little bit of snow. And apparently it's rain in New York. Um. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. <laughs> Hey, baby. Hi. Hi, what about me? What about me? Buddha, hey. Hi, baby. What about me? Oh, squeeze me. Me? Yeah. You're my foot. Me? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we have to handle the, the two rows. Did you make some? Sí. Yeah. What about me? You're not hugging me. Dame un abrazo. Amigos, we're gonna call it a night. Do you have an uh, uh No, you've interrupted my song. I put down his music so we don't get copyright infringement and then I don't have to do this vlog okay, over again. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> say goodnight. So to Gotta go. te amo, te adoro. Buddha, say make sure to give this video. Thumbs up. Comment below. Comment below. Ooh, subscribe. Adios, mis amigos. You kitty poo ready? Mm, like this. Daddy, mm. Daddy, Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot. I have a blog post up tomorrow. It's basically everything I did for Boy Toys' birthday and how to surprise your loved one with just tiny little things. And there's pictures and stuff like that. So check it out. I'll leave the link. You know, already. Yes, see. Oh yes. Come on and wash your butt.